Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer. Eventually. People are saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Sirkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sirkonus offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah called me. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Lock him in the Empress's chambers, and then I'll bring him to Coldridge Prison <laughs> until his trial. My father lost it all. Sent me to the city watch, one step above begging. Think I had to take your orders? Corfo Itano, son of a Zirconan tradesman. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Oh, well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the City Watch, the Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. Is, it... uh, is Lady Emily all There's right? There's a coup underway. Emily is... she's imprisoned for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for you. Get away, and help Emily. I'm sorry, Captain Mayhew. Goodbye. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? Lord Atano. You want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warmed over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the South, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who seized the throne. They... have Emily and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away, recover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunwall. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. Should we go? Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? You've lost another Empress. Delilah was born a pawn, but now she's got the throne. Fifteen years ago, the assassin Dow could have warned you about her if you'd bothered to ask. But you were too busy for questions. Times have changed, Corvo, and you haven't been watching the dark corners of the world. Maybe living in a palace has made you soft. What happens when you push a man farther than he ever thought he could go? Does he snap? And what happens when he tries to go home? 
Maybe you'll finally learn what it feels like to kill an Empress. Dad could have told you about that, too. I felt this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Jessamine, if all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Maybe I got lazy. Fell asleep at my post. Somehow everything I love is at risk. Again. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18, boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn, and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor, and I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. For over three decades, I've lived in a palace, watching over the people I love. I've had an Empress die in my arms, and raised another from birth. Who would have thought I'd come back home, the most wanted man in the Isles? following the trail of a monstrous killer. What would that 18-year-old think of me now? All right, you've explained part of it. What were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising. Corruption, street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens and usually the local authorities resolve it. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide, but Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the Crown Killer. Maybe the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. Off we go then. One more time, old friend.
take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermeyer. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. My name's Mindy Blanchard. And that mask tells me you're someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help? Yeah. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry, he's already dead. You want me to bring you a corpse? What's the story there? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it, then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll consider it. Karnaka was a lovely city once, before the Duke began choking the life out of the place, before the Crown Killer started painting the walls red. Now you're here, and I have to wonder whether you're going to give it that final nudge, or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready. Good job. Take this. You said you had a trick for getting closer to Adamir. I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adamir. All right, then. This is goodbye. The Adermeyer Institute is my best chance of tracking down the crown killer. Alexandria Hypatia turned an old solarium into a center for medicinal knowledge that's famous throughout the Isles. She's an alchemist, brilliant and dedicated to helping the miners in Karnaka and their families. If anyone knows what happened to Sokolov and where this all leads, she will. Preserved, because in the end, 
You found another way. But you'll always remember the truth, won't you? Your truth, at least. You're Hamilton? Why did they lock you up? You know something? I swear, I know what I saw. Hooded. I just caught a glimpse. So much hate in the eyes. As if the world needed more of that. Are you a patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov. Yes, he was here for a short time. But she took him away. To see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... Do you hear something? What about the Crown Killer? A patient of yours? The Crown Killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh yes, the murders. I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The Crown Killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just, I used to do such good work and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dr. Hypatia did this. She's the crown killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment. You'll figure out how to make the counter serum help her. The safe code is 551. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No, someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry, I'm going to take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's head out for the dreadful whale. What happened? Hypatia was the crown killer. <laughs> That's impossible. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she'll live. If she remembers the murders, She'll have to deal with that. And Sokolov? He's been moved to the house of a man named Kieran Jindosh. The Duke's grand inventor. Supposedly brilliant. Another genius. Just what we needed. I need Anton Sokolov, but he's missing. Held by another inventor named Kieran Jindosh who no doubt wants whatever secrets Sokolov holds in his head. Jindosh is the mad inventor who armed Karnaka with clockwork killing machines, the city where I grew up and trained, where I won the Duke's tournament when I was still a boy. They say the clockwork soldiers are the equal of Karnaka's best fighters now. I'm going to put that to the test. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Jin 
Kandosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, harassing people who look like trouble. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station. Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Yes, but it's been years. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll see you after it's done. Corvo, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindosh. A prodigy from Karnaka. Self-taught, he was hailed by the Academy of Natural Philosophy as a genius who would surpass Sokolov and bring about an age of enlightenment. But just two years after his arrival, he was banned from the Academy for life, for reasons that are still not public. When they deported him, he left behind a machine that drank seawater playing music that brought listeners to tears. They probably took it apart, and it has never worked since. Now that I see you, I work out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You trained with weapons formerly, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a good back alley in your movements. All that and only one man ever wore that mask, to my knowledge. Welcome, Royal Protector. Obviously, you're pleased with yourself. Do you know why I'm here? I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. Sokolov. It would have to be you. Perhaps Megan came for you in Dunwall. But Jindosh... He's alive, but I burned his mind out. Used one of his machines against him. Well, that's the Corvo I remember. <laughs> I can pull you into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Jessamine and I played games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. 
I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now it's your turn. Fifteen years ago, the Loyalist Conspiracy asked me to kidnap Anton Sokolov, and I did. I took him from his home to the pub we were hiding in, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? He laughed at us. He told dirty stories, taught Emily more than her governess could in six months. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kobo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes. Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But 
just before mother and father married her off. So many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that. Never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. I wish it felt like that. Seems like yesterday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else. Beyond the pale, beyond the natural world, instead we got hit by someone like me. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy. They'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Tanaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast. The mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Sirkonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery has only been possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. 
Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrd, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circondos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Time is an odd thing. I left Karnaka decades ago. Excited about all the Dunwall might hold. I remember falling in love with Jessamine, watching her crowned as Empress, Emily's birth, the Rat Plague, then Jessamine's death and another coronation. Now all this, back in the city where I was born. Stilton's home hides a mystery, but I'll tear it apart brick by brick to learn the secret of Delilah's immortality as long as it ends with her in chains. She might have pulled herself up from nothing, but I ran out of sympathy for tyrants and witches a long time ago. All I want is to put an end to Delilah's reign and make sure Emily is safe. One more time. Time is an odd thing. I left Karnaka decades ago, excited about all the Dunwall might hold. I remember falling in love with Jessamine, watching her crowned as Empress, Emily's birth, the Rat Plague, then Jessamine's death and another coronation. Now all this, back in the city where I was born. Stilton's home hides a mystery, but I'll tear it apart brick by brick to learn the secret of Delilah's immortality as long as it ends with her in chains. She might have pulled herself up from nothing, but I ran out of sympathy for tyrants and witches a long time ago. All I want is to put an end to Delilah's reign and make sure Emily is safe. One more time. tore down the original palace in Karnaka, where his father once pinned a medal to my chest. Over the ruins, the Duke built a structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Sirkonos for years. A sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego. I owe it to the people of my homeland to make this right, 
In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You deserve peace, my love. I've stayed too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Are you ready for this? I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping a single man who's dedicated to his cause that's another story altogether. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delina, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile. Emily and I have a lot to think about after all this is done. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job. Pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Circonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. of your homeland. A bigger, better palace than the one you sailed away from so long ago. Feeling nostalgic? Will you ever be comfortable in Dunwall again? Assuming you make it back? You've seen the suffering here, the decay, but, dear Corvo, would you even have lifted a finger if the Duke hadn't put Emily in harm's way? Be honest now. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida! 
Come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Your Eminence, are you all right? Yes, yes, Captain. Please arrest this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me! He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain, but be gentle. I think I understand, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there was something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending he was me, that eventually took its toll. No, stop! I am the Duke of Sircurnus! You can't do this! Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. I am the sick. This is it. You must release me from this dead vessel. Only then will you be able to trap the last spirit. Jessamine, your spirit comforts me. How can I let you go? I've given you all I can, my love. Try to guide you. Now our daughter will need you. Be at peace, my dear Empress. Star of my sky. Although your eyes, your hands, your heart, It's done. Now it's time to return. This the heart of my half sister. Only her flesh remains. This is how the worst day of my life began. A masked man closing in on Dunwall Tower. Now it's happening again. Another Empress falls. Another story ends. Last time it almost ruined the Empire. Will I do any better? Delilah outfoxed me and I never saw it coming. But I was Corvo before I was the Royal Protector. Before I owned a sword, I fought with sticks and broken glass, whatever came to hand. I don't know what grand scheme you've got underway, Delilah. But I'll give all I've got to stop you. You know where to go to find Delilah. But how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight. And Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. Too late for regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. Megan. People have called me that for a long time. But it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. I remember seeing that written down somewhere, a long time ago. Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing 
and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. I want to hear you say it. Our leader was the assassin Doubt, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together. We were paid to... You helped Dowd kill Jessamine. Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back. But I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. And not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. No, I don't think you will. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff and I'll go alone from here. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Delilah's waiting for you. She's been sleeping badly for the last couple of weeks. Because that piece of her you're carrying around has been calling out. Begging her to take it back. She feels the same craving, but she'll fight the death to stop you from putting her spirit back where it belongs. You were careful in Karnaka. Let's see how that serves you in the tower when you and Jessamine fell in love. Delilah's got the throne and your daughter. But now she's got a secret as well. I saw the High Overseer fall. All is lost. Leave this place. The Abbey assaulted the tower. Somehow we were overcome. Not just Delilah's sorcerers and their grave hounds, but mechanical men. Automated soldiers. The ancient music was useless against them. Rest now. But know that I'm going to end Delilah's reign. I swear it. At death's door, I smell the corruption of the void upon you. A heretic against a heretic. Laughable. The world is doomed. I've always deserved my justice. Now, what's always been marred and distorted will be perfect. I've waited so long, 
Sing my songs and lick my flesh. Worship me! for those not born in a palace. The people were surprised by this sudden turn, but did not question their good fortune. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicean wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atana by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurtling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family.